Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing the full moon energy reading for August 19th. Now, this full moon is going to peak in the sign of Aquarius. This is going to allow us the insight and the push to take a practical look into our lives with what is working and what isn't working. This is going to help us to approach any radical change that we need to make with a sense of calm and practicality. So I challenge you, take an overview of your everyday life and think about one thing you can change or add into your daily routine that will help to drive you closer to the life that you desire. Now, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. That means they're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So let's dive right into Virgo's energy for this upcoming full moon. And let's see what exactly it is that you need to release through this energy. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming full moon energy? What needs to be released? Please and thank you. Hierophant, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Coins, okay? Virgo, the Knight of Coins is like things at a pause, things at a standstill. The Two of Swords is like you being closed off, you protecting your, your heart. So, like, did somebody propose to you and you kind of put them on hold or somebody want to take things to the next level and you put them on hold that's the energy that i'm getting from that we'll see how this plays out into the reading okay the energy surrounding you is the knight of staffs the challenge here is the eight of coins how to transmute this energy is the eight of cups the outcome if action is taken the outcome if no action is taken. So I feel like there's a person in your life here, Virgo, and I do feel like this is having to do with a person. And it's like, you want to focus on work. You want to focus on building a business. You want to focus on um, your money coming in. And you don't really want to be distracted by a relationship. But this person is waiting, watching. And for some of you, this person may have already pursued you. But for others of you, this person has not. Okay? They're simply keeping things at a distance or at a friendly level. But I feel like this person is about to come forward and you're going to have a decision to make. So clarifying this Knight of Staffs, this is like indecisive energy. This is uncertainty. This is like, does this person like me? Do they really want a relationship with me? And I feel like this person, if they haven't already, they're about to pour their heart out to you. Queen of Cups. 
Now you could be dealing with a water sign. We also have fire energy present, but this is definitely indicative of this person about to come forward and tell you how they feel. So the challenge here is the eight of coins. It's like you're focused on work right now. You're focused on your money, maybe even building up a business and like you don't want to be distracted at this time. However, Virgo, and I'm just the messenger, so don't let me disrupt anything that you have going on, but I feel like this person is in alignment with your future, with what you want for your future. Okay. But it's hard because I feel like you've closed yourself off to relationships. I feel like you have it's almost like you signed off relationships. Like, I'm not trying that again. I'm not going to deal with a person in that context of a relationship again. We can be friends and that's as far as we can get. You've put a stop to taking things to the next level. Hierophant, the two of swords with the knight of coins. But what happens when your soulmate is presented to you? What happens when there's a person that comes into your life, Pisces? Um, and Pisces, you could be dealing with a Pisces. But what happens when this happens? You meet your match. Now, I'm just presenting information. This doesn't mean anything, Virgo. But you're going to have a decision to make. Seven of Cups. So the best thing that you can do is really think about what type of person do you want in your future? Don't sign relationships off completely because like, it's impossible to go through life without relating to other people. But in a perfect world, if everything lined up perfectly and beautifully, Virgo, what would that person look like? Okay. And also, I want you to get clear on the absolute don'ts. Like, how did the last connection end? What made you walk away? And maybe there needs to be some limits surrounding that, surrounding how many chances you're going to give a person or how many excuses you allow a person to make something along those lines. This Three of Swords energy, guys, it comes after we give a person too many second chances. And I know it's not fun to go through that energy, but you don't have to stay in this guarded prison with this wall built up around your heart forever. You can let that wall down and allow people to come in with provisions, if that makes sense, with certain, after they've met certain criteria. And maybe it is like some ridiculous thing like they can flip pancakes in the air. They have two different color eyes. Sometimes there are people in this world that need those intense signs to get it. And that's okay. Just knowing yourself and knowing that that's what you need. But don't keep yourself shrouded in mystery, Virgo, because you're afraid to get hurt again. Because I do feel like the lesson has been learned from that past experience. You don't have to hold yourself hostage. What I will say, Virgo, is this person right now, as we're talking, if they haven't already came forward, they're getting ready to uh, message you. In fact, I feel like this person is kind of creating a plan on how they're going to approach, when is going to be the right time. Be open to this experience because I don't know why Virgo, I just envision a person who's just walking around in life with their head down and ignoring all the signs, ignoring all the people. L lift your head up and look around.
pull a few cards out for your advice, guidance moving forward here, Virgo. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. Virgo. Virgo. I feel, I feel like you're going to be pleasantly surprised by this person coming in. Um, and it's going to be unexpected. Okay. So, and you may have an inkling if you lean into your intuitive sense of who this might be. But be open. Okay. So if this is somebody who you've crossed paths with and maybe kept your head down and lift your head up so you can say hi. Okay. Be open. Be open to new experiences. Playful, and this is a 44, so number four could be, there could be a message in 44 for you if that's something that you feel is resonating, it's piquing your interest, or you've seen a lot of fours lately. Look into the spiritual meaning of the number four. It talks about building the foundation, setting the stage for the future. So the message that comes with this card, Virgo, no matter what you are asking about, this is a time to have a good sense of humor. Smile and go do something fun. Life has a way of answering all questions when you're not looking. Wouldn't it be better if you were enjoying your life rather than sitting around waiting for what you want to happen? Don't take yourself so seriously. It is time to lighten up and be playful. Know that when this symbol appears in your life, that fun is about to start. Virgo, I feel like, again, this person coming into your life is going to be a blessing in disguise. It's going to be a beautiful experience if you can be open to it. Pulse in your court, Virgo, but don't hold yourself hostage in this self-imposed prison. This person is trying to get your attention. Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful for you and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey friends. So I just wanted to come on and again, thank you for all the love and the support on all of the platforms that I post all of this information on. I started a Patreon and OnlyFans. For those of you that want to support the channel to help to spread the information, um, to help my travels when I'm going to different events, to connect a little bit deeper on a more personal level with you guys. And so instead of just asking for donations, I thought I would put together a Patreon and an OnlyFans and on those platforms, I'm posting sound baths and guided meditations. And every once in a while, I'm posting stuff about yoga, yoga positions, and I'm going to also record some yoga videos for you guys to be able to tap into. So if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Again, it's Patreon and OnlyFans. Both of those platforms have a lot of similar content, but they're also going to have some different content as well. Follow whichever ever platform fills in alignment with what you need for your healing journey. And don't be afraid to disconnect, guys. The purpose of this channel is for you to get the tools and the information that you need to heal and to move forward in a more positive direction. The channel isn't meant for you to be here forever because I feel like once you heal, you hopefully can tap into the healing modalities when you need um, and messages when you need, um, but, but not to be here for forever. So again, thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. And I look forward to connecting with your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.